and I'm, I'm sweating just uh, inside, just being inside of my air conditioned house wearing this stuff, so this should be fun. Hopefully it won't take too long. I do have my Scotia with, I'm going to uh, hopefully shoot it with the drone, um, and I'm going to have a ground mounted camera, and oh yeah, you're on the 360 camera, which you have not been on in a while, so hey, how you doing? Let's get to the testing grounds. And I feel all warm and fuzzy about going to do this after just hearing the announcement from, uh, uh, well, not an announcement, but on the uh, Electric Unicycle Forums, the posts regarding the uh, the motor recall that they've issued on the uh, King Kong F-22 in China uh, that they have not done in the United States because uh, it probably cost too much money. <laughs> But evidently there's some manufacturing problems with uh, motors produced uh, prior to, is it June or July? I don't know. I looked at the, uh, the uh, code of my motor and it said 5722. Now I don't remember if they are using like European date format where that actually means uh, the 5th of July or if that means the 7th of May. So if it's the 7th of May then uh, this, this could potentially be a, a motor that's uh, not that great. Uh, that being said, mine's been fine. But those of you that are not familiar with it, there have been uh, a number of cases where these motors have not been fine and internal components have come loose, metal's been scraping, uh, wires can detach and short, all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, let's go try to do a top speed run on this wheel. Makes perfect sense. But I am dressed for the, dressed for the occasion at least. We're going down to 39th Avenue uh, Northeast. Typically that's where I've done my speed runs. That's where I did the speed run on the B12. That's where I did the speed run on the uh, Sherman. And the reason I like 39th Street is it's pretty flat. Now both of those wheels are non-suspension wheels. I've never done like a top speed run on a suspension wheel. And the advantage of doing it on a suspension wheel is uh, some of the bumps that can, that can cause you instability at high speeds. Uh, don't cause as much instability when you have suspension. Imagine that. So, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. What do you say? All right, we're waiting for the, um, do we get to sync? Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for the, the Skydio to sync up. It's funny, I only went like two miles here. Hit a top speed of 32 miles an hour and the battery, well, I don't know, it dropped 6% two miles of high speed riding. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how quickly we consume battery when we are riding at a fast fast pace. Um, fastest I've ever had this up to app-wise was like 34, I think, I touched. So, I don't know, we'll see how it feels. I'll be sure to let you know. Hey, I'm hot. Okay, it took a little while, but the drone is up. Let's, um, Record the screen. All right. Oh shit, I gotta start the other camera. All right, hold on. Full time, 360, camera on the ground, drone flying. It's all just gonna keep running. We're gonna see what we can hit here. Oh shit, I should get my phone out, damn it. Out. Don't drop the phone. That's it, only thirty one there. truck behind me. Turn around. I like going, I like doing the speed run on the other side. There's a little less bumps there. Let's go back. I'm just not that um, accustomed to, you know, going much more than low 30s. Just doesn't feel good to me, but okay. Now we're going to try to hit a little bit more. Well, 
that's freaking annoying as shit. I'm ready to lean into it and uh, I got switched to the setting screen and darkness spot. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Pay attention to what you're doing, Sean. I've got too many things going on. I'm holding a 360 camera, looking at my phone, making sure that I still hear the drone behind me. Which I have just doing a back perspective. Just fine. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. You're tired. Alright, here we go. confidence here. It feels okay. The wheel feels okay. I'm just not feeling lots of confidence. There's definitely a headwind this way too. The bumpier way, so I don't want that. Suspension is doing a good job of evening it out for me at least. What the hell? There's not supposed to be vehicles on these roads, man. There's another vehicle behind me. Go away in your little Fiat. Go away. All right, here we go. Feeling headwind this way now. Shit. Two miles an hour. Yeah, speedometer on darkness spot actually got into the red there. Let's try it again. Hey, look, it's another vehicle. Road closed for testing. If you didn't know it, now you do. reading down to 85% already. High speed runs will do that to you. Wheel temperature still uh, a nice chilly 100 degrees though. All right, here we go. No pads. I'm doing it naked, guys. Naked. Naked speed runs. It's the new thing. Point five. All right. All right. This is. I think this is the one. This is the run where I'm gonna. I'm gonna full send it. I'm gonna commit on this one. And the wheel feels okay. It's just. I mean. I don't. I don't. I don't. I've never felt comfortable having my world fly by at 40 miles an hour on a, a, a single wheel a balancing device. Just, that's just me, I know, it's stupid, right? Alright. We're gonna We're gonna hit it. And now I'm, you know, I'm not doing a super hard acceleration, it's gradual. I have enough room to go gradually, which is the way I prefer to do these things. I would rather not be like leaning on pads and trying to hammer it right away. Hey, another vehicle. Great, go away. Okay. Here we go. Or 37.6. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'm at low. I'm at 83% battery, so I don't have lots of runs left here. Maybe if I switch hands. 
switch hands with the stick. Maybe that's the key. Have it in the left hand. Nudge my feet up a little bit on the pedals. Use some more of that leverage. All right, here we go. Guys, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not, I don't know. It's probably just me, but I'm just not feeling like I want to go much faster than 37.6 miles an hour. I mean, if I can do it on the V12, though, what the hell? I should be able to do it on this, right? All right, one more shot. One more. Actually, I am going into a headwind the other way. So I just hit 38 and a half going this way. Interesting. All right, let me, um, because headwind does make a big difference. Let me, um, okay. Let me just switch the ground camera around and I'll do one more run coming this way. That might be the reason that I didn't feel like I could go much faster. All right. Vehicle behind me, wow. Alright. Alright. Okay, this is going to be my last attempt. Okay. Here we go. Still recording, good. Give myself plenty of space. Going down this side, I need to be kind of out from the edge, maybe 10 feet or so, because the side is a little wavy. Battery, battery bounces up and down a lot. Now it's, it bounced back up to 86%, it was at 83. Here we go. Okay, last chance. Last chance saloon, here we go. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> I, have little, I have a little less uh, room to stop on this side. Um, across 40 miles an hour. Good enough. 40.6. No, I didn't hit 43.6. I'll take 40.6. That's fine. Now, if I get uh, more and more uh, accustomed and confident in the wheel, uh, I'll try it again. But for my third ride, I'll take it. I'll take 40.6, that's fine. Now we have a helicopter flying overhead. What the hell's going on here, man? Jesus. Okay, let's stop recording the screen. Low battery, land soon, 14%. Now we gotta wait for another vehicle to come. It's so freaking annoying, man. Come here. Come on, drone. It's not, it won't come to me. I need it to, it's over water right now. It won't come to me, that's great. Come on. No, no, no. Get it into manual steering. 
All right, there you go. Get your ass over here, make sure there's no more freaking vicals. Okay. Six percent battery. <laughs> Pushing it. Okay. Well that was a freaking adventure. My god. I'm sweating like a pig. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This freaking uh, crash gear is very Florida unfriendly, especially Florida summer. Whew. Okay. All right, so it's probably 5:30 or so. I'm gonna just go down to Dunkin' Donuts get a coffee, right? Celebrate crossing 40 miles an hour on the King Kong F22. First King Kong wheel I've ever gone more than 40 miles an hour on, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Worthy of a uh, large hot with cream and sugar, if you ask me. And it gets a little tricky. 360 camera, big long selfie stick, sky deal around your neck. No problems. I'm a veteran YouTube creator after all. Ah, coffee. Nice reward. Yeah, I'll tell you, those early runs, I, I do anything above 35 felt like shit, you know? But I think a lot of it was I was pushing against the headwind and didn't realize it, so. Pretty sure I could hit the, uh, you know, the top speed. Give it some time. I really, my, next, my next priority is to drop the linkage on this thing. See if I can uh, soften it up a little bit. All right, I am back. I'm back. I did a little little lap around the park didn't film that just wanted to see what's going on there let's see what was going on at the park and the answer is not a whole lot oh man sweating really sweating so there what do you think of that performance what do you think of uh nudging across 40 miles an hour on the um he's on s22 it's uh it's not bad like i said it was the third yeah, I think it's my third ride, right? Third or fourth third, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I, um, as as uh, I ride it more and, and get more comfortable, uh, maybe I'll, I'll push it all the way to the edge, we'll see. Uh, and like I said, I am gonna still mess with the suspension some bit. It's, it's, it's funny, I was thinking back uh, when I was coming back, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember my very first ride, like how I thought that this felt, the suspension felt softer, and it did. And I realized what the difference is, is, is my first ride, I literally uh, charged the thing and just took it out. It did nothing else. And, and one of the nothings that I did is not check the tire pressure. And I later found out that the tire pressure on this was at 15 PSI out of the box. So that's, that's part of the reason that the ride felt so soft on, the, uh, on my, first, uh, my first go around. So got to factor that in, I guess. So anyways, guys, um, that's going to that's gonna do it for this trip. If you found the video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. Think about subscribing, and if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts uh, below. Let me know what you thought about uh, the performance of the wheel in that test. I'm going to have a lot of editing to do because I have three different camera uh, shots to work in. The 360, the, uh, the, uh, the GoPro that's in my pocket and the, uh, the Skydio footage as well. So yeah, it should be fun. Uh, did I say leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below? I think I did. Um, big thanks to my channel members. Last time I checked, I have 18 of them, and they're right there. Uh, I appreciate your support of the channel. And the um, simplest thing you can do, though, is just hit that like button. And don't spend any money, just hit the like button. That'll, that'll help me out. So that's all I got, guys. Hope you have a great uh, Labor Day. Tomorrow's Labor Day. I'm off tomorrow, so I might do something else. I don't know. Actually, I'm thinking about taking my one wheel out tomorrow, believe it or not, my one wheel GT. So I uh, look forward to that. So that's all I have. And I've said that like five times. So until next time, definitely now.